do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power Now, Holes on Project Phoenix Media. We got a really great game tutorial today. After a YouTube tutorial subscriber request, he asked, can I do a video on how to use OPL with a modded PS2, fat or slim, and using Code Breaker, and I figured out how to do it. It's going to be a lot of good times today. So, you go to the more info section, I have a link to a zip file of a Code Breaker program, L file, that you would download. It's going to be a zip file and have two files inside a boot folder. Take that and extract it to your thumb drive or to your USB hard drive. So let me show you how this works. So if I go into my Freemic boot and I go to ULaunch ELF, so I'm press X on there, and let me just navigate to my external hard drive, which you can see is down there connected. Okay, so we'll go back to the ULaunch ELF. I'm gonna press um, circle. I'm gonna go down to mass and press circle. So in the video description, I'm gonna have a link to where you can download this boot folder. So you wanna take that zip file extract it to your USB hard drive or a thumb drive if you wish and the contents of the boot folder is a program called cb underscore launch dot elf and then another program called codebreaker 10 dot elf and actually what I did how this works is I took the OPL version point nine program and I renamed it as cb underscore launch dot elf so how it works is well let me show you so we're gonna go ahead run the codebreaker 10 dot elf right now and it's gonna load the program and I'll show you how this works so the idea behind the method is this. You have a USB hard drive, or it could be a flash drive, or it could be a game share over the network, and you want to make sure that you have the games ripped and installed properly. Once you have done that, then you want to have a method to run these ELF files. So in my example, I'm using a Freemake boot, using ULaunch ELF, and I'm going to run the Codebreaker 10. Once you have done that, here's the main Codebreaker program. So I'm going to go here to Select Cheats, and I'm going to find a game that I currently have installed on my USB hard drive. So in this case, I have a game called Area 51 as a test. So I'm going to go down here and uh, find it. Oh, I missed it. Here we go. Area 51. So you press X to select the game. Then you press the right on the D-pad. And here's a list of all the different uh, cheats that are enabled. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to unselect some of these. And then once you're done, go ahead and press Start. And then go here and click on start game and then you're going to have this prompt here and press X and what is going to do next is the program is going to search for that CB underscore launch dot elf in your MC0 your mass or your hard drive and since I have that renamed as OPL we're ready to have a lot of good times and it takes you straight to the program immediately once you have done that then what you want to do is go to your USB games if you're not familiar with OPL go ahead and press start and then go to settings here and here's a list of my settings that I'm using with my OPL program. I like to have everything set as manual, not auto, just to make things easier for myself. So I suggest you do the same too, unless you know what you're doing, of course. But I'm gonna have everything as uh, manual. I'm gonna go back to OK, save changes, circle, and circle. So now I'm gonna go ahead to USB games, and now I'm gonna say X, start device, and assuming that your games are installed properly to your USB hard drive, your games will show up that you ripped. And if you're not familiar with how to rip games to USB hard drive, I'll have a link in the video description so you can learn more about that particular topic. So let's go ahead, run my game, Area 51. And we're going to go past these different colors here. And then once the game has loaded, I'll get into the game real quickly here and show you proof that yes, the cheats are enabled. So let's recap. Bottom line is you need a way to boot your, your Codebreaker 10.elf program. Once you have done that, select your game, select your cheats, Start the game, it's going to redirect you to the OPL program. From there, go ahead and select your game on your hard drive, for example, play, and then your cheats will be enabled. Um, if you have any more questions about that, leave a comment on the YouTube page and I'll help you out from there. So the game is currently loading. Uh, depending on what game you pick, of course, it may be shorter or longer uh, load times, uh, depending on your medium, of course. Now, today's example, I'm using USB hard drive. I could easily have done the same method over the network, but I chose to do USB since that's the most popular from what, from what most gamers are doing today anyways. So let's go to campaign. I'm going to load my save game profile I created recently. Um, resume campaign. And then uh, here I am, I'm loading a level. Once I get into the level, I'm going to go ahead and start spamming grenades and bullets. And you'll see that, yeah, the cheats are working because technically speaking, I'm not supposed to have infinite ammo. I'm not supposed to have infinite grenades. 
So it's going to be a lot of good times. You take a look at the Codebreaker 10.elf. There's tons and tons of games on there. There's a whole bunch of cheats on there. So you're looking for a good time to play with uh, different cheats enabled for your favorite games. Um, and using a USB method or an Ethernet method so you don't have to deteriorate the laser in your PS2 fat or slim. Then, hey, this is the way to go. It's going to be a lot of good times. So we're almost there. Like I said, it's going to take a while for this to load. At least you'll get to see real life performance of a particular game in its loading times. Like I said, if you want faster loading times, maybe consider getting like a fat PS2 with an internal hard drive. And I do have videos on that particular topic. All right, here we are. So let's go and let's spam this. Look at this. This is ridiculously cheap because Codebreaker allows me to do that. Wow, that's awesome. Or let's spam the grenades. Yeah. So anyways, that is today's video game tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.